So hey guys, I have come up with another video on system design roadmap where you learn all about system design, what all topics are in system design, uh, what how you can learn in a step by step manner on which topics you have to focus more on and what all topics are there in system design and of course why to learn system design as well, what are what other roles are in system design and all this stuff. So let's move uh, forward to my screen. So you can see my screen right down here. Uh, and let's first of all learn why to learn system design so uh, first of all it's good for problem solving you have a great knowledge on how anything uh, while creating a product you can solve different problem what all pr problems come while creating a product and all this stuff uh, second is you will you will get a high level view of how a particular system works or basically how product or software works uh, you'll get to learn about scalability how you can scale your product if more and more people come to your websites or your app uh, then second you'll get to learn about load balancing sharding caching and all these stuff uh, and of course if uh, you are starting your own company uh, and building your own tech pro uh, project or a software then uh, system design knowledge is a must now uh, what all uh, roles are there uh, it you can be a principal engineer you can be a solution architect you can uh, of course backend role have to know about uh, i would say senior backend role have to know more about system design architecture and all these stuff you can become a software architect you can become a system design engineer and all these stuff uh, now uh, let's see what all topics the system uh, design roadmap would have you can start with like system design introduction learning what basically basically system design is how system uh, what, what all things you have to learn in system design uh, and i'll i'll also create some of the videos in system design because it's one of my favorite topic to uh, teach uh, then uh, you move to second uh, topic which is system design fundamental where you'll learn all about scalability put uh, bandwidth latency availability concurrency consistency and all these stuff uh, then we move to networking part you should have a great knowledge on computer network topic which is a core computer science topic uh, where you learn about TCP UDP protocols HTTP and HTTPS uh, SMTP uh, which is simple mail transfer protocol uh, then client server architecture you have to learn the basic uh, client server architecture the three tier architecture and all these stuff uh, then scaling uh, uh, how is how scaling is beneficial for any any software or any product uh, what scaling should you do uh, either horizontal scaling or vertical scaling and all these stuff uh, you will learn about it in this part uh, then load balancing how load balancing works uh, what is basically uh, how different type of load balancers are there and all these stuff uh, then sharding uh, in sharding uh, you would learn different type of sharding like key based sharding range based sharding directory based and all this stuff uh, what is sharding how how sharding helps in uh, making a uh, project more flexible robust and all this stuff now caching uh, then you learn about caching what is caching peer to peer network you learn about different type of peer to peer network which is structured unstructured hybrid and all this stuff how peer to peer network works you learn about proxies what are proxies uh, different type of proxies like forward proxies reverse proxies then in uh, redundancy and replication part is you learn about what is redundancy how replications helps and all this stuff uh, in indexes and data partitioning part uh, you should have a great knowledge on databases and basically in database there is a topic called indexes you should have a great knowledge about that as well uh, and then uh, we move to of course databases different type of databases like SQL no SQL uh, what are models and types of databases other types of databases then uh, message queues uh, is a very interesting topic uh, we move to polling streaming monitoring rate limiting is it is another uh, one of the interesting topic if you have to have have like to learn more about web circuits and all these stuff then it's great uh, to learn uh, about all these stuff uh, then long polling versus web sockets versus uh, server events is uh, a more deep dive topic of this part uh, then we move to web servers uh, 
you should have a basic knowledge of web servers and in this topic you will go more deeper in web servers then uh, cap theorem uh, which stands for consistency availability and partitioning tolerance and this is i think uh, one of the most important topic in system design and uh, then we move to consistent hashing uh, which is another great topic you, then cdns uh, you uh, which stands for content delivery network and you you learn about uh, different cdns uh, how basically mumbai network is different from uh, the other us network and uh, basically how streaming uh, sites use different cdns to provide you the content and then tips uh, for system design interviews uh, read more and more blogs articles about uh, people uh, saying different tips about system design interviews uh, i'll upload different tips for your system design interviews and then in the last you have to learn about mock design interviews uh, so basically this is one of the most important part because this will uh, tell you how you should basically give your uh, system design interview and what is the process through which uh, you should start and what all steps you should cover in your system design interviews and all this stuff in mock uh, design interviews uh, you can see uh, interviews like uh, designing tiny url uh, uber uh, whole system architect uh whatsapp architect or design or cha- how to design a basically chat uh system uh web crawler like google web crawler and all these stuff uh you can learn uh coupon uh, system uh video streaming services restaurant reservation services and so, uh, search engine and, uh, and all these stuff and yeah i would say this is the whole road map for system design road map and uh in the last i would say like this is this whole is the hld part right hld okay now there comes lld which is low level design and uh, basically low level design is uh, detailing the hld only uh, high level design uh, if i have to give you a brief uh, differentiation between hld and lld then hld is basically high level view of uh the architecture the database uh, models and all these stuff on the other hand low level design is detailing the high level design to basically more deep diving into particular components of hld and all these stuff in hld uh, you can learn about solid properties uh, you can learn about different design patterns and first of all uh, the starting part would be of course oops knowledge of oops including polymorphism abstraction uh, all the stuff and then design pattern include like singleton design decorator abstract factory uh, strategy uh, design adopter builder factory design and all the all these patterns and uh, i would say yes this is the whole thing on system design and meet you next time bye